So today we're cleaning some wheels on this Porsche, but we got a bit of a twist because these wheels are a custom matte finish paintwork. So matte paintwork, uh, it tends to pose a bit of a challenge because you can't use normal uh, soaps, detail sprays, or waxes because they would stain and make all kinds of weird splotches on the finish. So you have to use a certain set of products, but the same methods will still work. So I got my wheel cleaning bucket here. I got a few of my favorite brushes to clean the wheels. And I'm gonna use the matte line of products. So I'm gonna use meticulous matte soap uh, as some lubrication and for the cleaning power uh, in the wheel bucket. When I finish the wheels, I'm going to wipe up any water spots with the matte detailer spray, which also has some spray sealant in it to help protect the paintwork. And to help clean the tires, I'm gonna use some nonsense uh, on the rubber because um, whoever cleaned this car before put a really greasy, shiny tire shine on these tires. And I wanna take it off because the really bright, wet tire shine on the crisp matte wheel, it doesn't look too good. It's, it's uh, sort of letting down the wheel. Um, these wheels are very dirty. I mean, if I come in here on the brake dust, you can see there's like straight brown, uh, rusted brake dust all over the wheel. These wheels have not been cleaned in a long time and they're really bad. The whole face, all the way into the barrel, all over the brake caliper and the rotors. I mean, it's all pretty bad. So uh, this wheel needs a lot of attention. So to get started, I'm just gonna set up my bucket here. I'm gonna put the detail spray off to the side. I'm gonna take the meticulous matte auto wash I'm gonna give a couple of squirts in the bucket. I just need about two ounces of soap in the bucket. Get my water here and suds it up. So meticulous matte makes tons of suds for a slick washing experience on any matte or satin paintwork or vinyl wrap or anything like that. So I'm just gonna rinse down the wheel, knock loose all the gnarly brake dust. There we go. I'm gonna come in here with a few of my favorite brushes. To get started, I'm gonna use the ferret wheel brush. This is a very soft, long brush. It's skinny enough to fit through any spokes so I can get deep into the barrel of the wheel to knock all this brake dust out from the inside. So I can come in here. You can see with just one pass how much stuff is coming out from this wheel. I'm gonna kinda rotate the brush as I go through to use up every bit this brush. So the meticulous matte soap is very slick. So this is helping me to lubricate all this brake dust so I'm not scratching the finish of this wheel, which would ruin the look of this matte paintwork. As always, makes sense to start at the top of the wheel. So as the cleaner pulls the dirt down, uh, I'm not you know, knocking dirt on the parts that I already cleaned. I'm gonna come in here and get some more soap. This wheel's extremely dirty, so uh, I'm rinsing off my brush frequently as I work, because this is really bad. Yikes. You can see all the, <laughs> all the dirt in the cleaners splattering all over the place. Come in here. Scrub it loose. And one more piece at the bottom. Perfect, so the ferret brush makes short work. Makes it really easy to get inside all types of wheels. It's also bendable. The wire inside is flexible. So if I wanted to, I could have one of these brushes bent, hooked around so I can get behind the spokes if I wanted to clean behind the spokes of the wheels. Moving on to the face of the wheel, I'm gonna use this flag tip green brush I like this brush because it uses synthetic bristles that are very soft and they're all split at the end or flagged. So that helps to make the face of the brush even softer. So as I scrub things like a sensitive wheel finish, I'm not gonna scratch anything. So I can come in here and knock down all this brake dust off the rim, off the spokes. Get some more suds here. Scrub all this down. It can even get in the hub of the wheel and the bottom of the face. There we go. Good. Now for the finer details, things that I can't really get a larger brush into, such as inside the lug nuts, on the brake caliper, and around the valve stem especially. It can be very difficult to clean these parts. So I'm gonna get the goat brush. 
this brush uses a plastic handle and a plastic ferrule that holds on these bristles. So even if I knock it against the wheel, the brush is very soft, so it's not going to damage or hurt the finish. It uses boar hair bristles that are very durable but soft. So they're resistant to any chemical cleaners I may use, and they're very soft touch on the finish, so I won't harm anything. I'm going to use this to clean out all the lug nuts, get all this brake dust out of there. I like to use this brush on interior parts of the car as well. You can check out some other videos on our channel where we show you how to clean up things like cup holders, air vents, even leather seats and things like that using the goat brush. It's, it's extremely versatile, easy to use. There we go, got all the lug nuts cleaned up. I can do all, all around this valve stem to knock out any dust from in here. Now the face of this rim is very smooth. I don't have any hard edges where the spoke meets the rim. So I was actually able to clean up all these spots. I don't need to go in there with a goat brush, which saves me some time. It's difficult when you're cleaning wheels and rims because there's so many different shapes. So that's why it makes sense to have a few different types of brushes because you don't know what kind of wheel you're gonna encounter if you're a professional. And uh, if you're doing this for yourself, if you're detailing your own cars, you can pick out the perfect brush for yourself and use it all you need. So the goat brush is perfect for this brake caliper. I can come in here, go around the rim, finish off the brake caliper here. There we go. Now the last thing I like to do whenever I'm cleaning a wheel, I like to clean the face of the tire just to knock off any dressing and uh, any dirt or grime uh, that's stuck on the rubber. That way when I go to dress the tire with fresh dressing, uh, it, there will be nothing to block it so it'll stick directly into the rubber look better, last longer, and enhance the shine of the tire uh, for a longer time. So I'm gonna use an all-purpose cleaner. I'm gonna use Nonsense. This is already diluted 10 to one for any exterior job around the car. And to scrub it in, I'm gonna use the stiff blue bristle brush. It's extremely stiff and it's great for scrubbing things like plastic and rubber on the outside of your car. So when I clean the face of the tire with the stiff brush, just want to be careful. I don't want to scratch the rim at all, so I'm just being careful as I scrub off all this road grime and dirt from the face of the wheel. You don't need to go that hard on this rubber. It's not that dirty. just want to take off any of the extra grime. So now that I have all the dirt and debris loosened from the face of the wheel, take my hose, rinse it down. There we go. Now I need to dry this off so I don't get any water spots on the face of this matte paintwork in here in the sun. I'm going to take a microfiber towel, fold it into fours. I'm going to knock off all this water. There we go. I'll also come up here, dry off the face of the tire. There we go. Now I have the tire and the wheel all dried up. A couple more fine details. I just want to enhance the matte crisp look on the face of this wheel. So I'm going to use some meticulous matte detail spray to help enhance the crisp look and to help protect it from any uh, contamination or sun damage or anything like that. So I'm just going to Miss the face of the wheel with a couple sprays of matte detailer. I'm going to dry it off with a fresh microfiber towel. I like to use matte detailer whenever I'm finishing a detail on any matte wrap or paintwork just to keep it clean and enhance the look without any extra shine that a normal detail spray would put on it. All other detail sprays contain gloss enhancers, sometimes wax. You don't want to put anything like that on matte, matte surfaces. It'll ruin the look. Good. This is looking really good. And then finally, as you remember, the tire used to have a really greasy, wet looking dressing. It didn't go well with the crisp matte look on the wheel. So I'm going to finish it off with a little silk shine on the tire. 
Silk Shine is a great dress thing to use. It's water-based, safe to use on any exterior or interior part, and it uh, finishes with a very satin, crisp, crisp sheen on any tires or rubber. So uh, I'm going to apply it using the DuraFoam applicator. This new applicator has a nice uh, wave cut into it, which helps to hold product and scrub it into any uneven surfaces that you may have on any larger tires. So as any as whenever we apply tire dressing, trick is to put it on the applicator, not to spray it on the tire. That way we don't get any sling as we drive away. I'll take my applicator and simply rub it all over the face of this tire. If I get any dressing on the wheel, that's okay. I'll just wipe it off with a little detail spray. want to catch any drips I got. Take some detail spray on my towel. Just wipe off any extra dressing. And then finally, just to um, enhance this crisp look, uh, I'm going to wipe off any excess dressing just to get a nice crisp sheen across the whole face of the wheel. So there you go. That's how easy it is to clean and protect and enhance the look on any matte wheel. Whether you have matte paintwork or a satin wrap or anything like that on your wheel, it's really easy to clean it with just the same brushes and using meticulous matte auto wash and the detail spray and a nice uh, crisp dressing like silk shine to get a good look that'll complement the wheel on the tire. If you have any questions about the products, you can check them out on our website. Links are right below in the description. If you want to learn how to detail any part of your car, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have over 600 videos showing you how to do anything. You got a nice car? Let's keep it clean with Chemical Guys.